I'm Bill Jagenow, and I run and own Brothers Custom Automotive in Troy, Michigan. My family's been in Detroit since 1864. Being from Detroit and my family history, working on the Great Lakes, driving these old cars, these Detroit built cars around today and rolling around the city and just, I'm very proud of that. It makes me feel so connected to the city. I really just love driving down Woodward, down into Detroit, visiting the old factories, and you know, this car was built here. I love that. Yeah, here at the shop, we don't really discriminate on make or model so much. We like to help people with problems that they have, and sometimes the problem is they don't have the car that they want, so we build them the car that they want. But we do oil changes and brakes and upgrades to things that people really care about and want to make better. You know, it's not uncommon for customers who I don't know, who are referred by customers that I do know, to become friends. We spend time socially before, during, and after I'm working for them, and I really enjoy their perspectives on cars and life and uh, living, and living it here in Detroit and experiencing what we have here in other places around the world. picked up my 27T in 99 or 2000 and I really wanted a, a Dry Lakes 1940 style roadster. I slowly put that car together over probably a year or two and I put it together just rough. I didn't really know if I was going to finish it nice or not. I put it together and enjoyed it for about 10 or 12 years and then decided one year that the shop needed a car to show at the Autorama, so I redid it and basically left it identical, just made it shiny. It happened to be black and had original paint on it still some places and I was the second person to paint it and that was kind of neat. So in the beginning of 2013, I decided to paint the car. Autorama is in March, so we did the paintwork, we squared away the body and put a very simple interior in it, polished the bits that were already there and rolled it into Autorama in March. It was really kind of a a bizarre feeling to have the same car I've had for then probably about 13 years be so nice and so many people just loved how it looked now. It won a top 100 pick from Street Rider magazine. It won the best of show, it won best engine, it just killed it and I was so surprised. It was just a wonderful experience. Hot riding for me today, in this day and age, it can be whatever you want it to be. have the most modern drivetrain uh, and conveniences and comforts of a modern car and just have the package of an old car. But I prefer what the car used to look like in a 1940s magazine and I grew up looking at these magazines and I wanted to know what it was like to be in the picture, like drive that car. And you can really do that with the bits and pieces that you can acquire. You can put together a car just like a car in a magazine from 60 years ago and enjoy that experience like the first people that did. I 
I really just like the real feeling of having a car from that era. And I get a lot out of that.